Hi, it's Dave. So it's Easter Sunday and I've just really been itching to get out and uh, go for a camp overnight. Um, but of course we're in lockdown at the moment so that's uh, made it a little bit difficult. Um, but because of the lockdown um, I'm only going to go on a solo overnight. It's going to be a pretty long arduous first day so I've actually got two water bottles with me for a change and um, yeah. Just see how this goes. Pretty wild and rugged in here. This is all gonna be worth it. Man, it's wild in here. Oh, I can see a clearing. Man, that was tough. Oh, look at that. That's an awesome camp. Today I'm actually uh, got my Kiwi Camping Pukeko tent. Great little tent. The ground here is actually incredibly, um, it's incredibly smooth. It's um, actually strangely familiar too, but um, I won't even need a ground sheet. That was a big hike, wasn't it, bud? Hey? This is what they call a drill pitch. That means I can put this uh, out of fly up first. The great thing about this is in summer is that um, this is all I need to take. I don't need to take the inner. And in winter, it also means that I can put this up first and then bring my inner whilst it's raining without getting wet. Anyway, so I'll just uh, sort this out next. Okay, so that's the inner bath pub done. Um, it appears that I'm not the only camper that's found this incredibly isolated spot for cooking gear. For tinder. And there's my amazing sleeping mat. So this is also a Kiwi Camping Intrepid Light. And she's 450 grams. Now it doesn't actually come with a pump sack. So I've had to purchase this separately. But I would recommend um, that you don't put your own breath in these. Because um, eventually it'll get mouldy inside. Normally I'd be bringing my <coughs> winter sleeping bag because it's down but because um, we're still in summer, Easter remember, and there is a possibility that it might rain tonight um, I've bought my synthetic bag. I love this um, Cedar Summit uh, cramp bag. Let me just run you around the tent and show you how much room there is. And um, I'd better crack on and uh, get something ready for tea. So this is the Puk Echo. They call it a solo, but in actual fact it uh, can quite comfortably sit two people. And the total weight is uh, 2.1 kgs. That's with the outer fly and uh, the inner. So I have actually done a video on this about a year ago. If you want to go to um, that link up there. Um, but yeah, this will be my setup tonight. I now need to find a nice chopping block, which I like to sit my um, firebox stove up on. I'm going to use this, uh, my silky saw. This one is actually a pocket boy. And um, honestly, these puppies, they will just cut through anything. That was a 
stroke of luck. Oh, tell you, they'll cut through anything. I really like this stove. So this is the uh, firebox. This is the stainless steel version, it's called a G2. Being in stainless, it's actually not very light. By the time you have the main burner unit and the accessories, um, I think it sort of sits at around about 1.5 kg. But I just love it. Look, no messing with little bits and pieces in the middle of the night. Okay, better go and find some firewood. There's some dry sticks. Yeah, that should do quite nicely. That'll be enough to get me started. How good is that? I think I'll just let that um, burn down. I'd better go and grab some water. I'd like to have a cup of tea. I did see a nice tarn as I came in. Um, I'll head back there and um, go and collect some water. Seriously, how lucky was I to be able to find this tarn? Water tastes uh, actually not too much dissimilar to what's at home. Just really highly chlorinated. Anyway, that should do just fine. Made this little device up the other day. That you try to use that to boil water out of. And as part of one of the um, accessories for the so you get the stainless steel ring. So I'm going to have a go at um, using this for the first time and hopefully it'll make boiling that a lot more efficient. Just like so. so well, while that's cooking I better go off and um, do a little bit of foraging, see what I can find. Oh, look at that! It's a bird's nest. Oh, there's eggs in there too. Oh, how awesome is that? They'll be perfect. This hedge in New Zealand is pretty special. There it is. Around Easter time, it grows. Those beans. Nothing like a little bit of foraging. Oh, that's a mint leaf. Um, but amongst lint. Oh yeah. A little bit of wild coriander. Oh, this is going really well. Amongst this tree here. And at the bottom of these, if you have a look around, sometimes. Oh, Oh, there's one there. An onion. Perfect. Oh, this is going to work out really well. What else can I find? 
<laughs> I'm actually forgetting where I put it. Really great area to go foraging in. All I need now is... Oh, look at these. Oh. How good is that? This bush... I know they normally get onions at the bottom of them, but actually in the tops of them... Oh, yes. Perfect. What do you think, Jed? Hey? Do you think that looks like a pretty good meal? Anything we need now? We need some meat! Oh, that could be a little bit more difficult. That's where I'm probably going to have to go into the bush again with my knife. Right, here we go. Oh, that was a stroke of luck. There's a beefy in there. Now, I didn't want to upset some of you uh, animal lovers, so um, I sort of skinned it and um, did all the rest back in the bush, but thought I'd better take out this really nice back steak. Looks great, doesn't it? Whew. It's going to be a good meal tonight. Really fortunate to find a lemon tree. And um, what's nicer than to have a lemon tea. Okay, so we've got a rolling boil going on here now. This has worked out really well. I not be able to come on another tramping trip if you keep wanting to steal all my food. Oh, how good is that? That's pretty good. It's been a really good night. Don't know where the dog's got to. I do keep eating my food anyway though. What are the other things I bought with me tonight? Is a tiger. Happy Easter, everyone. Oh, this tastes so good. So I really like these um, firebox stoves. They create a really lovely ambience. Um, don't be fooled though, that's not the reason uh, that it's so well lit up here at the moment. Unprecedented times, um, this lockdown. Um, I literally have not used a car um, since we were informed about two and a half weeks ago. I haven't been able to work, but my heart goes out for all of you people that have perhaps have lost your jobs or businesses that um, haven't or aren't going to survive um, this complete lockdown. Sometimes though with change comes an opportunity and so take the opportunity, don't play the victim card and the measure of who you are will show itself during this um, 
adversity. Staying the night um, in the tent tonight, um, I won't be going to that uh, queen size cozy bed. And there ain't nothing that's going to persuade me from moving away from my neat little campsite uh, to go inside. Well, maybe just one thing that might take me away from my little campsite, but I will be back. Yeah, sure. Stay home, stay safe, and above all, stay kind.